Can you tell me about your childhood home? My childhood home? Yes, I was born actually in Kings Lynn, Norfolk, and uh, that's up on the wash. It's where England come down like that. <laughs> it's real neat up there. Um, it's near Sandringham Castle where the Queen's, one of the Queen's houses were. It's beautiful grounds and you're allowed to go all over the grounds and everything and it's all woods, sand, because it's near coastline. Mm. So that's where I was born and then I, during the war I was brought up in London and we moved down there. But um, I used to make clothes for the royal family. I decided what I wanted to do was in dressmaking, designing and things. So I started off as an apprentice, and that's what you do. So I was at work at 15, and um, I worked for two of the top ten fashion houses in London, which made clothes for the royal family. That's how I started off. And um, I did leave that, and I then became a mechanic for Jaguars and Rovers and Albuses. I could fix cars. So oh. then, I, that's when I, after that, then I met my husband, and that's when I come come over to the States. Tell me about some of the places where you've been happiest. Well, I like the hilltop. I'm happy here. It reminds me of the suburb of London. <laughs> uh, what, is, what is your experience with or opinion of computers? Well, I'm self-taught on a computer and I think for my age I'm not bad. <laughs> I know my programs. Um, I typeset ads, um, do a lot of work for Kiwanis, um, Area Commission, I used to, HBA, Hilltop Business Association, I used to do a lot of work there, I do newsletters. I do, at this point, I do, I service four block watches and I help them through Kiwanis and some of it is their newsletters, which I typeset through the computer. Everything's computer, I can't write anymore. <laughs> My handwriting is not good. So. That's just because I'm old. Mm. What haven't we talked about that you'd like to discuss in the time we have left? Oh, I don't know. Um, we've discussed a lot of things, but the Hilltop has a lot of history. And they, did you go to the bean dinner? Yeah. Yeah. That's diverse. Mm -hmm. they, there is a lot, of, a lot of fun. They used to have a fishing derby there. They don't do that anymore. And the business association used to send people, a, a group of people to Kershockton for the hatcheries and they used to fill the pool up that, you know that little fountain thing, and that fish and then they'd have uh, uh, people fishing contests and the, with the biggest fish or how many fish, that was neat and Mount Carmel would come over there and pay for kids games, they'd have the jumping machine and all sorts of things, that's neat. You, do you enjoy the bean dinner? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing. Nice community festival. Which is free apart from the food. <laughs> it should be. What do you want? Thank you. Thank oh. you for letting us. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>